assalamu alaikum my dear students the topic that we will discuss today that is the blood vessels blood vessels blood vessels <clears throat> vessels means the tube we know the blood vessels are the tube like structures there is a vascular system in our body through which our blood flows throughout the body the blood flow provides food hormones enzymes and through the blood circulatory system the different type of the metabolic end products formed within the cells they are carried from all the body parts to the kidney and the skin and you see the lungs from which the waste products are released out from the lungs the carbon dioxide is released out through the skin the some <coughs> uh, metabolic waste salts in the form of the sweat and in the at the uh, kidney level the waste products metabolic waste are released in the form of the urine so the blood vessels there are three types of the actually there are three types of the blood vessels but <clears throat> out of the three two are the large blood vessels the arteries and the veins and the third type of the blood vessels they are called the capillaries and the capillaries we will discuss in the next lecture and uh, now the main blood vessels they are arteries and the veins arteries and veins arteries are the <coughs> blood vessels which carry blood from heart to all the body parts and veins are those blood vessels which carry blood from all the body parts toward the heart suppose let us see in this diagram suppose oh, this is the heart arteries are the blood vessels suppose this is the artery this is the pulmonary aorta or pulmonary artery through this pulmonary aorta the pulmonary aorta blood is flows from the right ventricle to the lungs and the big artery that is systemic aorta through the systemic aorta the oxygenated blood is supplied to all the body parts while the veins veins are suppose these are the veins the superior vena cava and inferior superior vena cava and inferior vena cava these are the veins which carry blood from all the body parts toward the heart and you see from the lungs the two veins they are called pulmonary veins these are pulmonary veins they <coughs> carry blood from the lungs to the heart that meaning the main difference in between the arteries and the veins that is the arteries are those blood vessels which carry blood from heart to all the body parts from heart to all the body parts and veins are those blood vessels which carry blood from all the body parts towards the heart generally the arteries they carry oxygenated blood and the veins carry deoxygenated blood but the pulmonary aorta that uh, is the artery it carries deoxygenated blood dear students the difference between this uh, care the pulmonary generally the arteries carry oxygenated blood but the pulmonary artery that carries deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to the lungs <coughs> the other arteries they carry oxygenated blood from heart to all the body parts in case of the veins veins are always carry deoxygenated blood from all the body parts but let it be very clear the pulmonary arteries these are the pulmonary arteries they carry oxygenated blood from lungs to the heart to the left atrium of the heart 
There are number of uh, other differences between arteries and the veins. Let us see here. Arteries are the blood vessels. They have suppose this is the artery. These uh, in a length wise arteries are the blood vessels uh, which have thick uh, walls. Arteries have thick uh, walls. And these walls of the arteries, they are made up of three squamous muscles. The front view of the artery, let us see the front view of the artery just like this. The front view, this diagram shows front view of the artery and this diagram shows the uh, longitudinal view. This is the longitudinal view and this is the uh, transverse view or front view of the artery. The artery that having three layers is squamous muscles, three layers. We know the three, all these three layers, they are attached to one another leaving no any type of the space but here we will show you the space between these three layers the outer layer outer muscular the middle one and you see the inner one the outer muscular layer is called tunica externa tunica Externa and the middle is called tunica, tunica media, tunica media, and the innermost layer is called tunica interna, interna. These are the three layers, muscular layers. All these three layers they are thick and overall forming a thick muscular wall of the arteries and because of their thickness the uh, lumen of the artery that becomes narrow what is understood by the lumen lumen is a area of a pipe area of a tube area of a tube total inner area of the tube is called lumen this is the lumen suppose <coughs> this is the lid of the vein and uh, this uh, total area that uh, area through which the water and other materials the blood that pass this uh, area total area of a tube is called uh, lumen the because of the thick walls of the arteries the total lumen that becomes narrow and let us see if this is the vein the veins also have dear students veins they also have veins also have three muscular layers but each layer is a thin layer each layer is a thin layer because of which the total wall of the vein that is thin and these layers are also having the the outer layer is called tunica tunica externa externa and the middle is tunica media having same names and the inner one is a tunica interna tunica interna but all these tunica externa tunica media and tunica interna all these thin they are thin layers and overall forming a thin wall of the arteries and 
because of the thin wall of the vents sorry vents the total area that becomes uh, the total area here meaning the lumen this is lumen 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 of the vents that is why because of the narrow lumen the blood within the arteries that flows with the high pressure and because of the wide lumen of the veins the blood within the veins that flows with low pressure other differences arteries those blood vessels which carry blood oxygenated blood generally from the heart to all the body parts the <coughs> arteries they are found deep in muscles deep in the muscles arteries are found deep in muscles and the veins they are found on the surface of the skin and thus the temperature the temperature that in the veins the blood temperature is sometimes you see that is a lower in comparison to the arteries because arteries are found deep in muscles the blood within the arteries that flows with the great pressure and the blood pressure that we measure with the help of an instrument here sir the instrument that is used to measure the blood pressure that the instrument is called a sphygmomanometer the blood pressure normal blood pressure that is 120 by 80 mm hg this is the normal blood pressure of a young healthy man just like me the 120 is called systolic and this is a diastolic blood pressure and the blood pressure that we measure that is arterial pressure not the venous pressure that means the pressure within the arteries the pressure within the arteries that is high and pressure of the blood within the veins that is low the pressure which is maintained within the arteries it is because of the <coughs> pumping action of the heart and you see the low pressure within the veins that is the pumping action of the heart that is uh, uh, no involved the <coughs> other differences in the arteries and the veins we know the arteries suppose this is the artery and arteries through the length of the arteries there is a no any type of the wall but in the length of suppose this is the longitudinal view longitudinal view of the veins longitudinal view of the veins through the length of the vein there are many semi lunar walls these semi lunar walls just like at the heart level semi lunar walls through the length of the veins there are many semi lunar walls semi lunar walls and thus the blood flows due to the blood dear students let me to clear one thing that the <coughs> blood within the arteries that flows due to the pumping action of the heart and during the pumping action we know the pressure the arterial pressure is due to the pumping action of the left ventricle you know the blood pressure within the arteries that is due to the pumping action of the heart and how the blood flows through the veins and generally let me to clear one thing the arteries are the blood vessels in which blood always flows towards the cavity suppose blood from heart that uh, flows towards the arms towards the other organs that is the, the flow of the blood within the arteries that is towards the cavity excluding the carotid arteries because the carotid arteries are those blood vessels those blood arteries 
uh, within which a blood flows towards the head region the cap the blood within the head uh, towards the head region that is uh, against the force of gravity and with the exception of uh, carotid arteries uh, in all other arteries blood always flows towards the gravity and within the veins blood always suppose blood flowing from the hand from the legs lower limbs and other body parts within the veins the blood flows against the force of gravity and blood flows through the veins in which uh, the pumping action of the heart is uh, uh, not in what you may say how the blood flows through the veins dear students blood within the veins flows due to the muscles around the veins the muscles the contraction of the muscles they squeeze they squeeze the veins just like this the contraction of the body muscles they squeeze just like this they squeeze the veins and due to the muscular contraction the muscle contracts the veins become squeezed and blood flows when the blood that passes passes out of this semi lunar wall and that reaches here this region of the vein that again the muscles they contract squeezing the squeezing the vein as a result of squeezing of this region of the vein the semi lunar valve at this level that becomes closed allowing the blood to move upwards and prevents the backflow of the blood <coughs> so these are many differences between arteries and the veins and inshallah we will discuss uh, in the next lecture the other type of the blood vessels which are small hair like which supply blood to the body and tissue level they are the capillaries inshallah we will discuss capillaries in the next lecture thank you very much